your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? One thousand. What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? One thousand. GTA. Kisa. What's good? Another day, another video. GTF, what's good, man? What's going on? It is currently the wee hours of the morning, you heard? It is 5 a.m. right now, man. It's dark outside, man. Your boy on a road trip as we speak, you heard? We on a road trip right now, man. We doing another 24 hour video, man. This time, we doing 24 hours at a place that we've been to before. You feel me? I'm not gonna say the name right now. It's gonna be a surprise. It's a place that we've been to before. I tried a couple items, but I never, I didn't do the, I didn't get the 24 hours experience. I think when I got there, I did lunch items. I didn't, and plus they got other lunch items I can try as well. But I never got to try their breakfast. Some of the GTF was in the comments saying, "Yo, man, you should have got this. You should have got this breakfast item, this and that." So I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a 24 hour video here. You feel me? So we on the road with it. Four hours away, you heard? Four hours away. For this 24 hour challenge, man, I ain't gonna lie, boy. You boy tired, you feel me? Like, these road trip. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I was wide awake when I woke up, you feel me? Like, I was wide awake because I'm an early bird. But it's just like something about being behind the wheels that just drains you, you feel me? Like, I ain't gonna lie, you boy tired right now, fam. But we on the road with it, we gonna focus on this road. Let go! Woo, fam, we finally made it, man. Almost four hour drive, you heard? I ain't gonna lie, well, that drive ain't no joke, you heard? But y'all already know, we pulling up right now! Alright, fam, we're here! Fam, y'all see what's going on. I know y'all wondering, like, damn, he had Bucky's again? Yep, cause remember Bucky's is huge, so there's a lot of items that I didn't try. It's a, it's a few things that I didn't try that I wanted to try, and it's a few requests that the GTF made, you know, about things that I should have tried. So you feel me? I'm like, well, let's go do that, you feel me? And this time we're doing a 24-hour video, you feel me? Instead of just going here just for, you know, for a particular item or what have you. Have you. We're doing a 24-hour video, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Bucky's is crazy, you feel me? Like... It's literally 9 a.m. right now, and Bucky's on swole, you heard? Bucky's on swizzle. Bucky's on swizzle. It's crazy. Let me find me a parking spot right quick. Um, where should I park? Actually, yeah, I'm going to park this way, bro. I'm probably going to find a parking spot, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, though. I like Bucky, so I was happy to come back here for a 24 hour video. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna cap with y'all. You feel me? I like it. Alright, fam, we here, man. Y'all see it, man. Bucky's, man. I ain't gonna lie. This place is huge. The last time I parked on the other side, I didn't realize how many gas pumps they got. I don't know if I'm exaggerating or not, but this place is looking like about 100 pumps, you heard? This place looking about a hundred gas pumps, fam. I ain't even cap with y'all, y'all heard? Y'all see they got the buckies with the Halloween pumpkin, y'all heard? Y'all see what's going on, fam. Alright, fam, we in here, fam. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. This place on swole, y'all heard? The first thing we gonna do, man, we gonna get a... Since it's breakfast time, we gonna grab an orange juice right quick, y'all heard? All I see is this brand orange juice right here. I've never heard of this brand before. Have you guys heard of this brand? B? Island the orange juice. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. I hope this orange juice ain't making my eyes, you heard? It's looking like we about to need a basket, bro. I ain't gonna cap it, y'all, bro. We gonna, we gonna mind we just grab the basket while we at it, bro. We at Bucky's. All right, fam. We got the basket. Let's see what else we can grab, you heard? 
Alright, fam, y'all see my man over here, Mr. Pimp Man. Big? Over here, man. My man got the pimp suit on. Yeah, <laughs> Hell no. But yo, fam, y'all see what's going on. Hey, fam, I ain't gonna lie, the last time I was here, I had these popcorns, you feel me? I killed these popcorns the first day I got them to the crib. I'm about to grab another bag, you heard? That caramel kettle, kettle cheddar. Yo, these things are hitting right here, fam. All right, fam, I got two items in the basket. Now, let me go get these breakfast items, man, because I ain't trying to go broke in here, bro. All right, fam. We head into the deli section. See what they got here, man. They got this beast burrito over here. Beast burrito. I think I might go with that sausage, egg, and cheese for some, sir. Sure. Let's see what's going on. Alright, fam. I got everything I need for breakfast, but I need one more item to seal the situation, girl. One more. Alright, fam. I think we'll find what we're looking for, girl. We're looking for a blanket. We're looking for a blanket, fam. It's the lap blanket, yeah. It's a beast towel. So I, ain't gonna, I think we want to go with the one with the Bucky's colors on there, yeah. What is it right here? Lion throw? I don't know what that is. But we need one of these blankets, though. Fam, I was going to grab this. But it's even limb on my clothes. I'm gonna put this one back. I'm gonna just grab the black. All right, fam. We out of here, yer. We got the grub. You know what I mean? B? We got the grub. You understand me? What's up? Yes. Well, actually, this is my second time, though. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, man. I like it, man. Appreciate you, dog. Thanks, man. Take it easy. You too. Man, y'all see what's going on, man. We about to review this breakfast right quick, man. All right, fam. We in the whip yard, and we got the grub yard. And you know what I was just thinking about? Wow, it's such a big gas station. I said, wow, wow, my bad. I said, Bucky's is such a big gas station. I wonder why they don't have no seating area outside. Man, I just noticed that. Like, they ain't got no, uh, they ain't got no, uh, chairs or tables outside. I just thought that was kind of, kind of weird. You feel me? But y'all fam, we got the grub. Y'all already know what comes next, you heard? Got a set of Grub Tech Mobile Studios. You feel me? Time to set up Grub Tech Mobile Studios. I ain't gonna lie, I spun a little check in there, you feel me? But we about to review these breakfast items right quick. Couple breakfast items. I ain't gonna lie, I got this um, orange juice right here. I ain't never heard of this orange juice before. Highland, Highland orange juice. Have you guys ever heard of this before? I ain't never heard of it before. Highland orange juice. You feel me? I don't know. I wonder if it's cheap or not, you feel me? What else? Oh, I got a blanket too. I got a blanket, you feel me? I know some of y'all wondering, why did he buy a blanket, you feel me? I don't know, like I said, man, uh, what they call it? Uh, what they call it? Bucky's is like one of them places once you walk in, you feel me? Like you 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 just be grabbing stuff you don't even need, you heard? But here we go, we got the bag right here. We got the other few items. I grabbed the popcorn. I had these popcorns last time I came here. These popcorns are pretty good. That's the um triple mix popcorn, caramel kettle, kettle and um cheddar. But the items we here to review, somebody had told me about a burrito that they got called the uh, Rhino Burrito. That's what I was looking for, but I didn't see it. So I got the Beast Burrito. The Beast Burrito. And I got sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. Beast Burrito and sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. Some people be so nosy, bro. Like, they be walking by like, what you all in somebody car for, bro? Mind your business. 
What's going on in somebody's car is their business, fam. What you looking for? But yeah, we got the beast burrito. And we got the sausage, egg, and cheese for some. We got a cup of ice too for the orange juice. You know I need my orange juice ice cold. We got some water here. We pour it out right quick. Pull one for the GTF. Yeah. It's not bad. I like this orange juice. I think it tastes better than that. It, it definitely, I ain't gonna say I think. It definitely tastes better than that, uh, whatever, what, Tropicana orange juice I had yesterday. But yeah, fam, we're gonna start off with the, I think we're gonna save the Beast Burrito for last, because this might be the star of the show. Well, you feel me? Just from the name alone, this is the star of the show. The Beast Burrito. That's the start of the show. And over here, sausage, egg, and cheese croissant from Bucky's. Let's see what it's looking like. Y'all drop them comments if you ever had Bucky's. Sausage, egg, and cheese for something. Like I told you, I don't be eating everybody's eggs, bro. The croissant is nice and soft. It's fresh. It smell good. It smell like a good croissant, you heard? Y'all see what's going on. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of scared to eat these eggs, bro. I don't be eating everybody's eggs. We gonna try it, though. Sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. Hit me, baby. Bitch. It's not bad. It's just that me knowing that I don't eat everybody's eggs kind of messes my head. But it's savory. The biscuit. Not biscuit, but the uh, croissant. It was nice and soft. Got that butter on there. Cheesy! Hit me, baby. Uh oh! Wash it down. It's not bad. What damage report? It's definitely not bad for the price. I'll give y'all the price at the end. But it's not bad for the price. Especially if you like anybody else. Especially if you're the type of person that be eating anybody else, you'll most definitely enjoy this. Not bad at all. It's a good sandwich. Now we got the beast burrito. Hang on, boy. This one was a check right here. Yeah, this burrito was a check. This burrito expensive, boy. We better have something good in here. What it's looking like. It's a pretty big burrito, though. Y'all see how big it is? Let's just give y'all a comparison. Yeah, it's about as big as my hand. See, it's about the same length. 
Chevy got some weight to it. Got some weight to it, fam. Beast Burrito, hit that bit. I'm away. Not bad, I got eggs in there. Sausage, bacon, hash brown, or beaver tart as they call it. Not bad. Like I said, the only thing that bothers me is I don't eat everybody's eggs. Other than that, it's not bad. Hit the bear. Ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of egg in here. I just wish it was more protein in here than eggs. I mean, I just wish it was more, more sausage bacon in here than eggs. That's what I meant to say. I'm trying to see if there's any cheese in here, but I don't see any cheese here. There ain't so much eggs in here for me, but I'm pouring some of the eggs out. Too much eggs in here for me, bro. Hit the bear. Most definitely fulfilling, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. As you get down to the middle, there's more bacon in there. Hit that bit. Definitely fulfilling. Man, got your boy right. Definitely got your boy right. Ain't gonna lie. I don't know where this rhino burrito at though. That's what I was coming here for. I ain't find a rhino burrito. The sausage, egg and cheese croissant on the skeleton. It's not bad. I would definitely try. I would definitely eat it again. And then it's not bad price point either. I get out of seven point nine. The beef, the beef burrito on the skeleton. It's not a bad burrito, but for me. 
got a little too much eggs in it. So I get a burrito of 7.6. That's because me though, I'm not really into everybody's eggs. It's loaded with eggs, you feel me? But I feel like should have had more sausage and bacon and stuff like that in there. But if you like eggs, you're most definitely like it more than I did, you feel me? So yeah, it's a seven point, what I said, 7.6? I think that's what I said in there. 7.9 for the croissant. But yeah, your boy definitely full though, definitely fulfilling milk. Um, as far as the uh, damage report goes, I got the blanket, a Bucky blanket. I spent $14.98 on that. A cup of ice, $0.49. Cent. The popcorn, $3.48. Beast burrito was $7.99, you heard? Sausage, egg, and cheese croissant, $3.99. The orange juice, $1.88. Subtotal, $32.81. Tax, $1.78. Grand total, $34.79, you heard? $34.79. But hold on, man. Y'all don't go nowhere yet, man. Y'all don't go nowhere yet. Being that we doing the uh, 24 hour thing. That's why I got the blanket, you feel me? Uh, this was breakfast I just did, so for lunchtime I got about two to three hours, right? So with that being said, I got two to three hours. So with that being said, your boy about to chill, you feel me? I'm about to turn the AC up. Get it nice and cold in here. And your boy about to get some Z's. You heard them Z's is much, much needed. Because I woke up at what? Four something? Big morning? To get ready to hit the road? Yes, sir. But yeah, fam, that was the, uh, what that was? The breakfast portion of the 24 hours, you feel me? I'm going to see y'all at lunchtime, you heard? That was a nice little two hour nap, you heard? Y'all tune in, man. 24 hours, man, eating at the world's largest gas station. We done did breakfast. Now we about to go in here and see what this lunch here for. All right, fam, we in here, man. We gonna see what this lunch here for. Yeah! People looking at me like, probably like I'm crazy. What a lot of hell is, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Let's see what they got for lunch, man. Let's see what they got for lunch. B? They got a full pork sandwich. lunch portion i'm in and out this time fam if i go in there man y'all see that i went in there and bought a whole blanket you feel me so I had, to, I had to 
had to get in and out, man. I done bought a blanket this morning, you feel me? 15 on a blanket? Well, that's crazy, you heard? But anyway, yeah, man, I gotta help and get down that road too, man. It's getting late. Y'all already know, man, I got a four hour drive. Ah, all right, fam. We in the whip, yard. And we got the grub, yard. Lock my door. Man, I ain't gonna lie, it's been a long day. <laughs> oh, dude, your boy fucked. We a long way from home right now. Man, it's getting late. I gotta knock this review out right quick. Time to set up Grub Tim Mobile Studios. That's my gas receipt. You ain't gotta see them gas receipts. All right, fam. So yeah, uh, this time we're doing the 24 hours lunch portion from Bucky's. Got the receipt. For the damage report, I ain't gonna ask for a check in Bucky's today between breakfast and lunch. Crazy. I ain't gonna I got some cookies just because they look good, but these cookies are not for me to review right now. These are for me to take to the crib. I'm gonna take these to the crib. Those little cookies, I ain't gonna lie, them cookies was looking right. You feel me? That fresh Bucky, uh, if y'all didn't know, Bucky's got a bakery in there as well. So, them cookies were looking right. All right, so, uh, there's some napkins. I got the Texas cheese steak burrito, and I got the club melt. Oh, I also got a drink too. This is the Bucky's fruit punch. Bucky's brand fruit punch. We're about to see what that hitting for too. Your boy loves some fruit punch, but we gonna see what Bucky's fruit punch hitting for. Let's pop this thing open. I ain't gonna lie, during that, um, during that break, GTS Plat went and got something to eat, so. GTS Plat was like to eat with us at the same time, you know? But it's all good, though, man, I understand. The man was hungry. This is what the, um, the club melt looking like. Have any of you guys ever had this club melt before? Let me know. I ain't gonna lie, this club melt looking good. They got ham on there. Got some type of special sauce on there. Bacon on there. I'm not going to look too bad. Got a nice amount of ham on there. They, it wasn't stingy with the ham either now. They done stacked that thing up. The sauce is leaking. Oh, it got cheese on there too? Okay. Yeah, sir. They didn't forget the cheese. Bacon Club. I said Bacon Club. Bucky's Club Milk. Hit this bit. Hmm. It's not bad at all. We're gonna hit it again before we speak on it. Hit it big again. Bacon club man hit me. Ain't gonna lie. Wash it down. Food punch hitting too. This club melt definitely surprised me. I mean, I thought it was gonna be just basic, you know what I mean? Um, you know, ham cheese. I thought it was gonna just be basic ham cheese, whatever. You know what I mean? But it's not basic at all. You got the ham and cheese, you know, with the bacon. It's savory. And one of the, one of the things that I really like about that, whatever sauce they put on here, that sauce that I don't know, don't know the name of it. Add a sweet, it's a small, tiny kick, nothing major. 
but that sauce is adding some good amount of sweetness to this. So this is savory. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm hmm. That's a good sandwich, though. I ain't gonna cap it, y'all. If you never had it before, try it. It's fresh, it's hot. When I say hot, I'm not mean like burn your tongue hot, but you know, you still got a good amount of heat to it. A good amount of heat to it where you can still eat it. Mm. <clears throat> Whatever kind of sauce that is on there, that sauce fire. This fruit punch, fire. On a scale of 10, I give this fruit punch an eight. On a scale of 10, I give this club milk. I like it. I would definitely order it again. Club milk, eight. Now, Texas cheesesteak burrito. Well, I ain't gonna lie, boy. This burrito was a hefty, was a was a pretty penny, boy. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. This burrito was a pretty penny. I ain't gonna lie. You better have enough. You better have enough protein left for the amount of money this burrito costs. Ain't gonna lie, that's a nice weight to it. It's a nice size too. See the size? It's a nice size to it. Texas cheesesteak burrito. Hit me, baby. B? I ain't gonna lie, there's a whole lot of steak in there. They definitely packed that thing with steak. Steaks in there, cheese in there, green peppers in there, onions in there. It's all in there, you heard? Hmm. He did it again. Hmm. I ain't gonna lie, this is pretty good. See all that steak in there? This is my kind of burrito right here. Whole lot of protein, you feel me? Hit that beer. Mm. Now when I say this is good, some of y'all take people word out of context. It's good. As far as gas station go, I'm not saying it's good like, oh, this is five star, you know, restaurant stuff. It's good as far as being this is a gas station, it's pretty good. And I would definitely order it again. It's good. <clears throat> Cheesy? Savory? This thing savory. Watch it down. Mm. I done got steak with every bite, bro. So it definitely got a lot of protein in huh? This is definitely better than the breakfast burrito I had this morning.
Damn. Pretty good, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Hit that beer. Whole lot of steak in there, see? Now, I ain't gonna lie. When I looked at the price, I was like, damn, this kind of expensive. But with all the amount of steak in here, price not bad. Price ain't bad at all. Got a little kick to it, too. Nothing major, but I feel it. Thing good. <clears throat> Steak in every bite. On a skeleton. That cheesesteak burrito get an 8.5. It's good. I would definitely give it again. Mm. Ooh, that boy stuff. Now, as far as the damage report goes, <clears throat> the Texas Cheese State Burrito was $8.28. The Club Melt was $7.99. I ain't gonna lie, that Club Melt price kind of high. But it was good, though. Club Melt was $7.99. The fountain drink, the fruit punch was a dollar nine for a large. And then the cookies I got. The cookies was a dollar ninety eight for two. I got six of them. In total I spent well it was twenty two thirty five, tax a dollar forty five, grand total twenty three eighty.